What's going on, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. Now, as everyone noticed about what goes on from the past event at the time recording of this posted, I would like to talk to you guys on this secret tech that nobody expected for them to see at the event. And this tech card, as you guys saw from the past videos, today's tech of the uh, talk would be protector of the sanctuary now why is this a tech card of choice to talk about well if anyone ever saw the hand loop video for the past few days ago everyone should be aware that if the hand looping effect resolves involving this tech card it's literally game over so let's go over protector of the sanctuary level 4 earth fiend 1100 attack 1900 defense and its effect simply says your opponent cannot draw cards except during a draw phase now let us go ahead and take a look at some applications on certain decks to be stopped at and see how you can interact with it now first things first in terms of its own effects <clears throat> its own effects in terms of competitive scene where every mechanic of the game they need draw power which is true so when it comes to cards that involves drawing in terms of the spell lineups in terms of against something like dark worlds for example Card destruction is super, super good, which is usually like a plus nine to them. Well, with Protector of the Sanctuary out, they cannot use card destruction as long as he's face up on the field because that's draw cards. And the thing is, it has to be in the draw phase in order for this to work. So basically, cards such as card destruction, as well as Pot of Avarice, Allure of Darkness for those Dark World decks, Gates of Dark World, they cannot draw as long as Protector is on the field. And then for FTK shenanigans involving drawing cards, Chicken Game won't let you do that because Protector is on the field. So you still have the options of uh, forcing to give your opponent 1,000 plus life points or destroy the card. And then for decks against Sky Striker, they can't use Mobilize and Gage. And even if they have no monster in the main monster zone, as long as Protector is there, they cannot draw. But yeah, sure, they can get the search. It's just they cannot get the bonus effect to draw. And then runic fountain gets completely cut off from drawing cards because any time outside a draw phase if the runic player does not perform actions outside a draw phase in terms of either negating or removing the card you just basically completely shut them out from getting extra pluses into the game and then all the pot cards as mentioned earlier avarice desires or any other pot cards they cannot draw cards as long as protector is there and then last but not least in terms of uh protector's ability this card wrecks both shed ride as well as max c sure droll and lock bird can shut off both maxi and shed ride in terms of protector on the field that is outside of the draw phase once you stick this card on the field face up you're basically free to go off with your special summons and or searching because even if maxi has already triggered as a lingering effect same with shed ride if it's outside of the draw phase they cannot draw cards and in terms of the applications with protector of the sanctuary 
in order to set yourself up in terms of the hand looping process, you have Awakening Forest to Foolish Burial this card from Dead to Graveyard because it can be Normal Summon and this card can be revived with the likes of Vera Vernus of Goddess. And in order for you to complete the hand loop, the card you need as follows in order for you to wreck your opponent's hand. That would be Vera to Reborn, Protector from the Graveyard, and the trap card you need to see is Disturbance Strategy. What the card says is your opponent shuffles their hand into the deck, then draws the same number of cards. So basically, if you perform the setup of Disturbance on the field, Vera on the field, and Protector in the graveyard, if you perform the chain sequence correctly, you basically just guaranteed yourself a hand loop. And if not too much else on the talk of the uh, town about Protector of the Sanctuary, you guys let me know in the comments below what other uh, applications do Protector really has in terms of stopping opponents from drawing cards. But otherwise, let me know in the comments below about the tech idea of Protector in the Sanctuary. It, to be quite honest, Ever since testing out the Verna Self hand loop from the event, I'd say it's pretty much more consistent, more versatile in terms of controlling the board. And if you happen to know the correct chain sequence in terms of hand looping your opponents correctly, you just basically completely shut them off from playing the game. Once again, this is James Polk signing out be sure to like comment subscribe and share and if you haven't already smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated catch you guys next time